Hi, today I am going to discuss one more powerful feature of Microsoft Azure App Service and we will deploy and publish the application from Visual Studio itself. So let's move ahead without wasting time. So uh, for this session we know Azure App Service provides a highly scalable self-patching web hosting service and I have already created a video on this and uh, from where you can learn about how we can host an application from Azure portal itself with GitHub repository as a, uh, as a source code. So the link is given in the description of this video. So we will discuss for this session how to deploy ASP.NET ASP Web Form application from Visual Studio itself and let me clarify one thing you can deploy any type of .NET application either it is Web Form application it's ASP.NET MVC application or it is ASP.NET Core application so steps will be exactly same there is no difference okay so uh, it will work for all that I am going to show you and so if you don't have any uh, Azure subscription, to, I strongly recommend you to go for it. Create the free account that you can use. The link is given in the description. You can check that one as well. So let's move ahead without wasting time. So basic requirement for this session is you should have Visual Studio 2019 on your machine with, with ASP.NET web application workload or web development workload. And if you have installed, you can check for the updates from the help menu and you can get the tools and features. You can check that workload is properly there. Let's switch to Visual Studio. This is my sample ASP.NET web form application that I want to show you how it will look like on Azure App Service after publishing from Visual Studio. Okay, so I made few changes in, the, in this application like the title of this from here or you can see in the top bar or I have added one more link here login and you can see this beautiful login screen that I have created if you want it I will paste the github link in the description of this video and I have used the same uh, repo throughout the session as well so uh, uh, now I will show you what what is uh, what are the changes that I have made in my application site so as you can see uh, this is my login page and I have added few controls here few uh, one CSS file is here I have added all the required CSS here and in master page I have added few you know uh, application changes and you know very minor changes so this is a very simple uh, default application so from Visual Studio itself you don't need to install anything what, what is the basic requirement I have already told you so we will right click on this application and you can see there are multiple options are coming like publish to AWS Elastic Beanstalk and Azure app service is just like same okay so when you will click publish option so you will see there are multiple options uh, available here like docker container repository uh, like folder FTP server deployment you can run and web server IIS and import profile but for this uh, session our focus will be on Azure one so we will select the Azure hit next and now it is asking for where you want to deploy your application so we will select the Azure App Service one that you have already explained earlier so click next let me provide my email ID or you can say my learning credentials okay so now we can see our account details are successfully synchronized and we can see the options are here so uh, my subscription is automatically populated here one resource group is coming but there is no other option is coming for creating app service or hosting our application so at the bottom you will see there is a plus icon create new azure service so we will go with this one i just clicked on it and i hope new screen we will be able to see so yes we can see the name by default uh, app service is suggesting this name we can use and existing subscription resource group and hosting plan so we are good to go all these things but let me change the name here okay so we have selected the name and uh, let me hit the create button here so resource group selected hosting plan you can change according to uh, your subscription plan what you have already taken and uh, because that is the main part uh, to host this uh, application on Azure and when it will complete uh, after hosting I will show you on the Azure portal side what is happening there okay 
So it is creating my app service, it is creating my infrastructure, it is creating my required operating system, it is installing all those uh, required things to run this ASP.NET application. Okay, okay, now we can see uh, under our resource group, we can see our app service is created and one option is coming deployment slot as of now we don't need to do anything because we are especially completing this section and we will hit the finish button okay so after finishing it is successfully map my uh, published profile which is created here it's saying this this will be the name and this will be the site url okay if you want to preview any changes we can manage them we can delete rename edit uh, my published profile as well okay so for now i will click on publish okay now it will start pushing all my con so let's wait for it to complete all the um, publishing steps now we can see all files are successfully adding to the azure app service site so we can see our application hosted successfully there okay it will take few more seconds and it will depend on the uh, your uh, you know network speed or network bandwidth So now we can see the final message is publish succeed and our web app was published successfully and the link is given at the end of this output window. Um, my web service is already loading on one of the browser instance. Let me share you that screen as well. Okay, now we can see my app is successfully hosted. This was earlier on my local host and now it is on techweb.azurewebsite.net and we have created one login screen we can see how quick it is responding how beautiful is it is if you want to uh, make some changes for example on the login page we have so we can mention here let me hello tech web dots okay so i just save it and if i want to publish it once again so what, what i need to do i will right click on it again select publish my profile is selected and I will hit on publish icon okay and now we will see hello tech web dots on our login page okay so application is already launched in another browser window let me share with you okay now it is loading if I will click on login now we can see we have just changed in our browser in, uh, in our visual studio and we can see hello tech web dots okay. I hope you like the video this is a quick start of session and if you like it please don't forget to subscribe and one more thing now i would like to share with you what is happening on the uh, azure portal side now i want to show you after successfully uh, publishing the website from visual studio what are the things that are already created on the azure uh, app service site on the portal okay so let me log in let me enter my password hit enter okay tour maybe later so we will go first dashboard one because this is the one where we can see all the used resources so we can see now one app service plan is here and one app service is here which is already hosted and we will see the exactly same url exactly uh, same configuration that we have done from visual studio itself okay so this was the url right techweb.azurewebsite.net so this is a url we can browse from here and here as well all data in data out request response time what what is going on so all those things we can check here so if i click on this link so yes we can successfully able to launch from here as well i hope you like the video if you have any question please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe in the upcoming session we will discuss how to deploy dotnet application with sql server dependency to azure app service using visual studio so thanks for watching. Have a good day ahead. Bye-bye.